In this video, I'm gonna name you guys 10 things to help you guys determine whether or not nursing is for you. Stay tuned. What's up you guys, it's Kiara Selena and welcome back to my channel, Nursing with Kiara. I make a whole bunch of nursing related videos sharing tips and tricks that I've learned along my journey to help you guys have the smoothest nursing journey. So a couple days ago, I started a poll here on my YouTube channel, which I will post somewhere here so that you guys can see. I posted four different video ideas and gave you guys the opportunity to vote on which one you guys want to see. And this is the winning video. So thank you guys so much for those of you who have voted. Um, apparently a lot of you guys are aspirants aspiring nursing um, students and you guys want to know whether or not nursing is for you you don't really know what you're getting yourself into and this video is going to be perfect for you so yeah how to know if nursing is for you let's get into it so the first thing is do you love science have you always been the type of person who's been super intrigued by the body and how it works maybe you know a nurse or a doctor who's a friend or a family member and you always have so many questions to ask them and you're always so intrigued by what they have to say if you are that person that may be a sign that nursing is for you the second thing is are you selfless you need to understand that in the nursing field um, your whole job is pretty much just putting people before you you're going to be tired you're going to feel sick on some days you're gonna have headaches you're going to just not feel well at all but you're always gonna have to keep a smiling face and pretty much just take care of people and put everybody else before you so are you selfless because being selfless I think in my opinion is a really big part of being a nurse the third thing is are you squeamish are you squeamish do you get fainty when you see blood? Do you get super disgusted when you see sores? Or maybe you've watched a movie and seen somebody break their leg and you got really disgusted by it? Are you squeamish? Now, don't get me wrong. I don't think that nurses like seeing things like that. I don't think anybody really likes seeing disgusting things. But are you able to handle it? Because that is a big part of the job. You're going to be seeing gross stuff all the time and you have to be able to handle it so if you're very squeamish or if you feel faint every time you see blood mm, i'm not really sure if nursing would be for you the next thing is are you a people's person you need to understand that you are going to be dealing with patients patient families and not only that just staff so cooks cnas nurses doctors physiotherapists occupational therapists respiratory therapists all types of people all day you are constantly going to be surrounded by people so are you a people's person are you able to work in a team um, being a team player is a huge part of nursing so that is another thing for you to think about can you work well under stress can you handle the code blue okay code blues are a huge part of the hospital you hear code blues all the time in the hospital and as a nurse you need to be able to of course you're going to be scared when somebody comes into the emergency room and you know you don't know exactly what's going on and they're unresponsive and you have to think fast and you have to work fast and the doctors are giving you orders and nurses are talking to you it is so much stimuli so you need to be able to work very well under pressure unless you plan on working in a more relaxed place like uh you know maybe uh, a residence or something where things are very routine but even in a residence uh, somebody's condition can change like that and you need to be able to know how to work under pressure what to do under pressure you can't be a freezer somebody who just stands and freezes yes we understand like it can be scary but you have to be able to push through that so can you work under stress can you keep your emotions under control now let me tell you okay people in the hospital will get you pissed off like no other no other i've had patients spit in my face i've had patients offer me money for sex i've been disrespected by nurses disrespected by cnas oh my god you get the if you're if you're african-american like i am um you get the nigger word, the n-word thrown at you all the time. Are you able to handle your emotions? You need to be able to, you you can be stern with your patients. You do not want to get, stand there and be disrespected. You can tell a patient, put a patient in check and tell them, listen, you are gonna have to speak to me with respect, right? I'm coming to you respectfully. You're gonna have to treat me the same way or you know, I'm gonna have to go see somebody about it. But at the same time, you can't, blow up you can't blast your patient or blast families right you have to be able to keep it all inside so are you able to handle that because that is another thing no matter who you are that you are going to face 
one day or the other it might not be soon after you become a nurse but one day you're going to go through it and let me tell you i am very new to this whole nursing thing and i've been through a lot so you have to be able to keep your emotions under control another thing that goes along with that is are you patient obviously you have to be patient to be able to keep all those emotions under control it might not necessarily be people being disrespectful to you but the hospital is a very stressful place you might not get results as fast as you want you might not be able to do things as fast as you want to because you have to wait for somebody else to give you the okay so it's very stressful and you have to be patient so that's another thing for you to think about along with that is being understanding you have to be understanding sometimes a patient might be disrespectful to you and before i'm um, just taking it to heart you have to be able to you know understand that okay this person is in this situation they're going through a lot right now it might not necessarily be something personal the person might just be going through a lot and they take it out on you and so you have to understand that so being understanding is a big part about being a are you in it for the money let me I'm, I'm just gonna break you right now right now if you're in nursing for the money you're going to be so disappointed so disappointed because nurses i'm telling you they don't make enough money for all the crap that they go through if you are in it for the money you are going to be such a trash nurse your heart's not gonna be in it your mind's not going to be in it you're going to be so miserable because you're gonna work so much and we we're never gonna get paid well enough so if you're in it for the money mm -mm, pick something else and are you a good teacher as a nurse you're not just taking care of people you are teaching you have to teach families you have to teach patients about procedures they may have to do at home medications they might have to take um take home you might have a whole bunch of questions that you know the family or the patient may want to ask you about their disorder so you're gonna have to teach them about their disorder about the signs and symptoms of their disorders and you know the side effects of their medication and what their medication is going to do all of that so as a nurse you're also a teacher so are you a good teacher and that is it for the 10 things you need to know to determine whether or not nursing is for you. I really hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and leave video suggestions down in the comment section below. I hope to see you in my next